That's let not me, what let transgender me, is saying. Let me ask a question here uh, for the point. Made, I want to transition off this topic to the next topic. By the way, you know how the Constitution, we've had 27 amendments in the last however many years we've been around, right? Based on what he just said, my interpretation, what he said is the religion of Christianity has made many amendments over the years, okay? Somebody could interpret as the New Testament as a form of an amendment. You can push back. I'm just giving the audience, trying to see what the average audience may be thinking about. They may say, no, the Quran is the Quran is the Quran. We follow what was taught back in the days, and we're sticking to it, and there's no amendments. What's your rebuttal to that? Can I comment uh, on for, this? Please, Can yes. I, you understand for, what I'm saying, yeah, right? Yeah, you understand, understand the question. I understand the question. First of all, they are talking about amendments. They have something in Islam called abrogation. It's like an amendment. God says something, and then he changes it. For example, he asked the question, was it moral to kill the apostate? I can ask him the same question. How about zawaj al-muta? Like you marry for, like it was practiced in Iran a lot. Uh, you it's just, not inherently uh, immoral. Uh, it's not we inherently immoral. That. Why? We can answer it. Why, why it was stopped? Why Muhammad stopped it? No, no, if it was immoral. Is, the difference, I'm just giving you an example. You let asked me, us the question. No, so no, I, I, I'll Here. let you answer. I'll let you answer. In, in Christianity, Jesus came. He stopped so many things in the Old Testament. That's our principle. He stopped, for example, sacrifices. <laughs> we don't sacrifice animals. He stopped the adulterers to be stoned. He stopped so many things, like tooth for tooth. He stopped that. So Jesus stopped so many things in the Old Testament. You don't accept that. That's, that's, that's your choice. For example, why his disciples never killed an apostate? Why his disciples never They didn't waged... have political power. As soon as Christians the, gained the, political power the, in the Roman the, Empire, they started doing these okay, things. They didn't have the jurisdiction to do so. You, they didn't kill They were anybody. the minority. No, no, they weren't in power. No, no, as soon the, as Christians gained power the, within the Roman the, Empire, they, the, they applied the Old Testament the, laws, the New Testament it's law. It's not true. It's codified the, in the canon law. Do you know, are you familiar with the canon law? Yeah, I want to talk about that. Yeah, please explain the canon law. Brother Rashid, if you can get closer to Mike so the audience can hear uh, Jesus never waged a war. He never ordered one. He, there he were other. Yes, there were there were other Jews uh, who did respond. who did kill uh, Romans and who, who did kill people, zealots, the the, the, the people called Gayorun. So um, Jesus never ordered that. His disciples got killed, not waged war. They got killed. They never killed a person. Slavery. Uh, Paul, the Apostle Paul, he said, in Jesus there is no slave or free. And that's why the, the abolitionists, uh, they, they started in the West. I have a question for you. You are benefiting from human rights and freedom of religion in the U.S. And you are trying to get us back to Sharia. For example, you converted from Christianity to Islam. Alhamdulillah. And you want to bring a law that kills the apostate. Do you want to be killed for converting from Christianity to Islam? Do you want that? Do you believe it's correct? Do you want it? <laughs> Yeah. Do you believe it's correct? So he Explain doesn't the answer the question. Uh, do you give want us a it? Principle. Give us the, the principle. The principle is the, the golden principle. rule. Do not do to people what you oh, don't okay. want them to do so, to so, you. So you 